you you go like so many guys so many guys play the game so many guys are, are stars in the nhl and then i see them near the end of their career and i'm thinking you know you love to play the game you had a ball playing the game but how tough does it get near the end when it really you know you had your issues with concussions how I didn't how have much fun the was it at the you know what i, I didn't mean? have a fun time at the end you know it sort of goes from a blast to making it yeah. to the the pressures to injuries and then grinding i wasn't i wasn't the same player after i got i got hit a few times and, and knocked out i wasn't yeah. close and and although i still love the game and i could still i could get by and contribute here and there um it wears on you that you don't or you can't play to the same level that you once right. could you just uh you're just not you're not you're not the same you're not the the fear of cutting through the middle um no, there's a, there's a number of things, but uh, yeah, it wears on you. But listen, you know what? That happened. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I look forward every week to going to go skate with the same group of guys that, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, we just pick a jersey, whether it's a dark jersey or a white jersey. And, uh, you know, that's how we pick teams and no referees. And you just go skate. We just have a good time. So did you have to have that conversation with yourself or did somebody? In terms of what? Of, uh, at the end. At the end? No, I knew. I was. Uh, how do you see the game as it's evolved even since you've been out. The game's incredible. The game is so fast. Uh, you know, it's really, I, I, I went down and I watched the North American team play at the World Cup yeah. against, I think it was Finland or Sweden. It was in the round. Uh, beat Sweden. Beat Sweden. And, uh, and it was just incredible to watch these guys go. Mm-hmm. Like the, the speed and their ability to uh, transition left and right, their mobility. Uh, they're, they're just so fast, and they rip the puck. Mm-hmm. There's not one guy out there that doesn't rip the puck. Your observation about this current generation, this this group of 20-year-olds that are coming in, is the first generation on for this new NHL from the lockout, yeah. from the lost season. You know, they're, they're the are the first group that's come through there, and, and we were speaking about that in the dressing room this morning, that, uh, you know, this is the first group that's that started with the new rules and have grown up with the new rules. And I think because of that, you're you're... You know, there uh, people can always adjust, but uh, I think it's a it's a real benefit. So I think it's great. We're in a, a interesting era in the game where a lot of former players are really getting involved in management, mm-hmm. whether it's player personnel, whether it's general manager, whether it's president of hockey operations. There's a ton of guys, which is which is really unique. I think it's really good for the game, but it's really different. We haven't had an era where a lot of, as many guys have got, especially stars. Does it ever tweak you to, to get in the game in management? To, you know, to have one, I know with young kids it's challenging. But it is. You see a guy like Stevie Y and you see, you know, Wayne is back in now, but there's a, a ton of guys in the game. Even like you mentioned Howard Chuck, I mean, doing major junior. A lot of guys are in major junior. Yeah, have you ever, yeah. have you thought about, Getting back into the in game that sense, in, no, in a, some I'm, sense, I am years away. I mean, I, my kids are so young that uh, I wouldn't even I wouldn't have time for it at all. No, it, it wouldn't. Uh, it, it doesn't wouldn't interest work. you. Well, it's just not a priority. Yeah. You know, uh, maybe later on, maybe years down you, the, you, the way, but you, it's you not might, a priority you, now. 